Hi everyone. This video is about uh, utilizing the six-speed reverse lockout solenoid on the five-speed transmission that I've converted to six-speed. It happens to be on a 03 Honda Element, but it doesn't really matter what vehicle it is. Uh, the conversion uh, can work on any of the five-speed manuals. So here's the uh, original five-speed housing and the one on the left sitting on the bench is the six-speed housing. Okay, this is an excerpt from the uh, service manual. It explains the operation of the shifter interlock mechanism here. And as you can see, basically the solenoid, uh, which in this diagram is indicated as the inhibitor, it pushes a pin out, forces the lever against the lock cam, and that cam prevents the select lever from going back into the reverse position. So that's what we're going to be implementing on the 5-speed shift select lever. the reverse lockout solenoid. So on the five-speed uh, shift actuator, you'll see I'll have to take out the center section and drill three, drill and tap three uh, holes to hold the uh, reverse lockout solenoid. Okay, so I had to take out the center section here where the lever and shaft go through I also had to machine out up the side here where the uh, solenoid, shift solenoid came down and the pivot point it was located. And I also drilled out these three holes, as you can see on the front, to mount the solenoid. One, two, So you notice with these two housings side by side that the uh, bolt patterns are slightly different. That's why you can't just put this shifter mechanism onto your transmission because it's not going to bolt up. Here's a little close-up of all the uh, hand work that went in there. It looks like uh, I was using uh, super sharp teeth with my badger to get in there <laughs> or something. But anyways, uh, it's crude, but it works. And it kept test fitting the solenoid into the housing a couple times. It was hitting on the side right where I point here. Um, so I had to keep grinding it down. Tried to leave as much metal on uh, as I could um, just for strength. So this is a shift arm that I had to grind the pin uh, welds off the pin and then punch the pin out. And um, the big reason for that is because this shaft or the pin um, has a slot in it to hold the solenoid locking tab. Without that slot you can't put that locking tab. So the original uh, five-speed one didn't have the groove cut in the pin so I had to reuse the one from the six-speed. And um, also the, the shifter as you can see here in the center um, the shaft shifter shift selector shaft that comes up and down is moved by that arm and that arm locates right in the center of the shaft and when you put that into the five speed housing um, it locates off center so we had that's why we had to change the arm itself not just swap in both the arm and the shaft the uh, shifter um, mechanism on the right with the shaft also locates in a different spot on the transmission. So when your cables bolt up, uh, depending on what type of vehicle you have, they locate in a different spot on your transmission. So that's why these uh, I had to use the um, original selector shaft. So you can see the little groove here in the shifter pin for the uh, shift selector. 
and there's the little uh, lockout mechanism that has to slide in that groove on the pin. And that's what the 5-speed one does not have. And I'm pointing out the relationship for all three. You have to make sure you're correct on those, the angle, and that that pin is square in that uh, in the lever. So I took uh, a little uh, angle finder. I set this guide in. And all I'll right, show you so here once what that's all done, and I've welded that tab up solidly. I'm going to reassemble that. Uh, put the shifter uh, selector shaft in, and the, the lockout lever in, and cover it with the boot. Make sure you get the boot on first. Um, it's a bit of a challenge, but uh, with the magic of editing, it only took me a few seconds. So you can see once it's all together, the shifter arms are in the proper location for the shifter cables. Uh, the counterweight's on the correct side. I've got the housing that'll bolt right back up to my 5-speed and uh, long journey. Um, now I'm going to just assemble the, uh, the rest of the shifter mechanism. This uh, is kind of tricky, but uh, if you just take your time, uh, you'll see how it goes. Okay, so you can see I've uh, stuck the two springs on on over the shaft. There's a washer underneath this cup, and that Okay, so while I'm holding these two parts, um, there is some spring tension, uh, so I'm going to stick my extension in here just to hold it and so it doesn't pop out, and that way I can just slide it over the shaft. Okay, now the um, this little block here has three detents in it, um, similar to the detents the uh, little ball and tension spring that hold your shifter into a secure spot uh, in the transmission. So your shifter fork's in the right spot. Um, so if there's too much wear on these lands here, then you should replace this block. There was another guy on YouTube, and I'll have to put his name in the description, uh, who first uh, indicated that replacing this might help your shift quality um, uh, if you had some popping out of gear issues. Um, anyways, and this is what he's talking about. If that block is worn, those lands are worn, then you'll have a tough time keeping it in gear. And the mechanism, or the spring and the ball, are located in this so in this um, little pin section of the selector. Okay. Take this out of here, push this down. Last two very important steps this washer and this bolt. Okay, so this this bolt is actually a retaining pin. Okay, if you recall, it goes right through this piece here. Okay. Now the washer, it's not just a sp Okay, so I'm using this little wave washer here. It's a spring or lock washer um, on the bolt, uh, sticking on the shaft and just gonna zip it down with the gun. I'll torque it back up later. Um, Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video.